Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. Yunus Shafiri is here and always in the series about Kotlin for beginners, we are going to understand Kotlin Lambda, high order function and Lambda expression. Let's get started. The first thing you should understand about Kotlin functions is that they are first class. What does it mean? It means that we can pass them as parameter, return them from function, so you can expect function returning a function or you can store them in the variable. Now, Lambdas are functions without a name. Okay, so they are anonymous. Let's see an example. Let's say I, I want to create Lambda. You do something like that, and he would do your code. I will say, for example, print hello world. So this is grayed out because it won't get used. This is a Lambda function. This is an expression here. We are doing it like uh, we are just printing it. I can store this thing into a variable. Let's say hello world. If I run this, nothing would get printed, as you can see here. Now, in order to execute this, we should invoke it. So we do the following, we should do hello world. You can do dot invoke and run it. It will execute everything here. Or we can do something like that, I believe. Yeah, it will work. So we stored this Lambda or this function here in the variable. We can pass it as parameter. We can also return it from function. So why you would pass a function as parameter to other function? We'll see that in a moment when we will talk about higher order function. Any function that accepts a function as parameter or return a function as parameter, it's called higher order function. So bear that in mind. Now, this thing can accept parameters. So you can do something like that. Let's say that I want to pass something for this print. Let's say I want to pass variable. What you will do, you will do, for example, the name of the variable like that is string and the type, of course, and you do this expression. And you can use this string here. So I say hello world string like that. Now this will get an error because it's expecting a parameter. I can pass here hola and run it. You see hello world hola, for example. As you can see, we could pass things here. That's the thing to remember. You can pass many parameters here. Okay, you can add, for example, another number and to be int. You can do the following, and it doesn't have to be just one line, right? You can do many lines. Print, for example, the number. We can also print the number, so we can use the number here. And let's pass, for example, six, and it will work. You will see two print. You can do whole block, whole process here. So that's the thing to remember about this thing. So you can pass this hello world as parameter to other function, right? Let's see an example. Let's try to write a function like that. Let's call caller, for example. This function will call our function. Now, in order to make the parameter, you need to specify the type. Let's start with something simple here. Let's write hello function. It accepts nothing. So let's simplify this. Let's just do something like that. We will just print something. Now, let's say I want to pass this hello to this caller. So we will do the following. You will name this function as name. Let's say it's called a function. And the type is like the following. You would do something like that. What does it mean? The first one is the parameters. What are the parameters is expecting to this lambda? And here we do that, the return type of this. The return type here is nothing. It will return nothing. So it's unit. So I can use this function here inside the caller. So use this function and do dot invoke. Now, if I try to call the caller, the caller will accept this hello. So we can accept the hello. Or we can accept any function you can write. You can write here any block that accept no parameters and return unit. So you can pass this hello, or you can write it your own. I will just pass my hello, run this message, and you see it must print this one. Simple function. If I delete that, and let's say I want to print this is just an example, you see it will print this one. We are passing something to this caller, and the caller will work with. Now, be in mind that these functions can return things. Now, just don't have to type the return, okay? If you want to return something, just put it at the end. That, for example, return false. Now, with this false, you can expect, now this is hello is returning false, right? If I pass it here, hello, it won't work. Why? Because this function accepts something that returns nothing. What you need to do here is just a boot. And if you do it, it will work. And you can use its result. So you can evaluate if the function, we invoke it. So you can use this function in order to do other things. We will see that in some example here with higher order functions. Okay, so that's one thing. And if you want to accept some parameters, let's say that I want to pass this hello world. Let's return number here, for example. Let's return that number. So the return type will be in it. So we put an int here. And the functions accept the string and the number. So we will do the following. String 
and a number. This is how this will work. But this won't return things, so I will just call it here. And I should pass some numbers here. So let's just print hello and i, for example, four. Let me delete that. If I run this right now, it will print hello, hello. This is the hello and the four. And it's returning that. You can use this number also. You can also print the result of that function. So that's a call inside the call. As you can see, this one, this one, and then the four. The four is the return of this function. So it will print last. So this is simply how you can create lambdas, pass them as parameter, and you can even return them as parameter. You can say, for example, let's return this function. So you have to specify also the type here. So it will be just the same thing here. You can just copy it and paste it here. It will work. So it's the same syntax. So this is the lambda parameters, and this is the return type. That's simple. Now we call this caller. The caller function is a higher order function because it accepts lambda parameter and also it returns a function here. So this caller is a higher order function. So let's say I'm having an example here. I'm having a person class and this person class, let's just make a data class, for example, just for the sake of example. And let's say that I'm having a list of these persons and I want to know which person has the biggest age. So you can see it is Hazima right here. So you can do this in many different ways. So the idea is that you can use the person dot max by or null. Here it is. Now this max by or null, as you can see, if you click on it and go here, as you can see here, it accepts what? It accepts lambda. So this lambda, it will take something, t, and it will return r. And the return thing will be on the base of that. Let's see another implementation. So this is the previous one. This is the deprecated one. Okay, as you can see here, it's accepting also this parameter. Why we would pass a function here? This function will determine us the criteria on how to select the max. So maybe you want to know the name length, for example. Maybe you want the age. Maybe you want something else. So it's better to provide this max by with a lambda, with a function that can work with to determine the max. So simply, I will return here the it. It will be what? It will be the person, right? So if you click here, it will see it accept the t. And the t is an iterable, right? And it will return something here. This something will do the max. So it will be the age. If we print this, now the print, the result will be what? Will be a person. That's why I use the data here in order to print everything. So as you can see, the person here we got is Hazimarat here and age is 300, for example. If we do that, the min, for example, the min by or null, it will be this 21, I think, right? Yeah, it's been a bit. Here we are passing the function, right? We are passing a function that's returning a number. And with that number, we are using it. So if you go here to the collection, so as you can see with this selector, we are passing our max element. Each time we are iterating on one of the lists, one of the persons, and we get the value, the value back, we get the age. Yeah, and based on that value, we are choosing the max here. So, and finally we are returning. Okay, so this is simple implementation of the max, but it is so much generic. Why? It's because we are providing our function in order to determine the max. So we can do something else. For example, we can use main length, for example, and it will return us the biggest name or the minimum name here. Let's run it. Exactly. It's Latif because it contains five. So this is a way to pass lambda to higher order functions. So this is it for this video. I hope you understand this critical concept about lambdas and how to pass functions to other functions and return them and don't know, execute them as part of other functions. So this is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.